Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I decided to leave Kokiri Forest right away and take a short walk over to Kakeriko Village, which all you have to do is just go down this right path here and avoid the stall child. You can just run right past them. They aren't really that much of a big deal. Unless you're like waiting for the break of dawn or something like that. I'm hoping that it'll be dawn by the time I reach Kakeriko. Because I want to do the day stuff first before I get to the night stuff. And you'll see why when I get there. I have stuff planned out and I believe it's gonna go well. Or at least I hope it will. <laughs> That's why we have the magic of editing. <laughs> anyway, just cross this bridge. Yeah, Hyrule Castle is right over there. Uh, it's probably shorter if you walked from there to here. But as I said, you can't even go over here. I should, say, I should say you can't get through this area without uh, Seria Song first. And do I seriously have to wait until daybreak? Come on now. What did you have to say, Navi? Yes, I know. <laughs> anyway, look how fast this the time moves in Hyrule. That is ridiculously fast. Jesus. Now the sun should be coming up somewhere around here. Ah, screw it. I don't have to wait. <laughs> Once you hear the rooster cock-a-doodle-doo, you can go inside the village and it'll be daytime. A uh, normal daytime that'll make me very happy. Ah, uh, such a peaceful town. Alright, let's check this place out. What do you have to say, guard dude? Even though the door is completely open. What? You're a clock soldier? Well, that explains it. You're not a guard, you're a clock soldier. Hmm... Well, that's nice of him. Well, he used to live here, so that makes a lot of sense, actually, because this is a, does seem a pretty nice place to live. Nice and relaxing, even though our first objective will be to get a bunch of chickens inside a pen. <laughs> oh, okay, don't worry, I've got permission. Anyway, this chicken right here at the entrance, you should probably just grab this right now. I'm going to... Uh, do this first, basically, of all things, just because this one is kind of time-consuming. So, yeah, over here at the back of the village, just go past this well here, and you'll see towards the left side, not this guy. Wait, I thought left side? Oh, it's the right side. Excuse me, curses! There's this lady that's in distress right here, and she's like... I'll just throw this chicken right in the pen right away. My kukos have run away! Please catch six more! Yeah, yeah, oh, I didn't get to hear her whole speech. But yeah, she wants you to catch the seven kukos that are roaming around the village here. And there's one right here. Just chuck that in there. I said chuck that in there! You're supposed to go inside! Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, I think there's another one up here. Actually, I should probably get the ones that I need to chicken glide to get to. Um, what about in here? I thought there was a cuckoo in this area here. No, I guess I'm wrong. What do you have to say about this chicken hunt here? <laughs> Why are you changing the subject, man? We're talking about cuckoos. Uh, I guess that wasn't the place that I was thinking of. Anyway, I will need uh, some more cuckoos to like jump fences and stuff like that. Like you'll see this one right here. Not in, not in this crate. Well, <laughs> why can't I break crates? Like you'll see this one seems completely inaccessible, but that's obviously not the case. I mean, come on. This is a Zelda we're talking about here. Anyway, there's one up here as well that I'll need another cuckoo to get. Um, Let's see, I'm just looking around for the ones that are kind of out of the way to get, so to speak, first. <laughs> More than anything. Uh, and don't go inside any buildings, otherwise you'll reset the positions of the Kukos. Just saying. Um, I think there's one in a crate. It's either this one or the one up the hill to your left. I think it's the one up the hill. Or not. <laughs> Give me chicken. Uh, gimme. I would like grabby. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kuko, but I have to use you to cross a gap. Um, I need to get up there somehow to get across the thingy. Uh, I can get around here. 
like so, and then you'll see that kuko. You can use a kuko to glide to another kuko. That's the trick here. So I'm just going to chuck that one off the edge for later. And now I'm going to try and find the pathway to get up to that higher kuko. I mean, in that enclosed area that kuko was in. This is not the area I was looking for. <laughs> I'm supposed to go over by that windmill there, excuse me. I am roaming around this place like a chicken without a head, dang it. <sighs> literally, okay, anyway. Okay, there's no literally here. These chickens have heads, so we're okay. Uh, okay, I should be able to go like... No, okay. <laughs> I guess I have to hop on it to that corner over there, because I'm pretty sure that's the side that I have to jump over to it. Ah, chicken gliding a complex affair that shouldn't be so complex and you have to jump you don't have very much control over your jump so you have to do it at a certain angle to get across like so there we go now i'm just gonna chuck you over there we go you down here i'm going to need your assistance i'm so sorry <laughs> no i don't want to fall down the hole just yet <laughs> and up here i can get back over to this area now, for the rest of the chickens, I'm kind of unsure, actually. <laughs> Those are the ones that I mainly remember. Um, let me climb up here, because this is the way out, and see what the poop I need. No, wait, this isn't the way out, because I can't do that without, like, leaving the village completely. And, yeah. And once I plop the chickens out over the fence, you don't have to worry about them going back in there, obviously. Oh man, this is gonna take a while and it's- Oh, it's a chicken! <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna take a while to find the others, but uh, there we go. So, I think I'm at five right now. Yeah, I'm up next I'm up next to the windmill now. That's right here, if you didn't notice that. Uh, I can get a song there later, but I don't believe I can get that right now. I'm just going to go over here now and plop this- No, I wanted to throw it in midair epically. <laughs> But that wasn't the case. Okay, let's grab these two. Bloop. And into the pen you go. Bloop. A few more to go. And then we'll be done with this chicken problem, this chicken infestation we have. No wonder they're getting out of this place. I mean, it's an open fence. They can easily jump over this thing. I mean, come on, man. Any idiot can figure that one out. Ah, she's gonna have to put chicken wire over the fence as well as around it. Ah, I don't know. She doesn't seem smart enough to keep her chickens together. Where was that one that that was that I left wandering? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there we go. This is six. Now where is the seventh one? I don't remember, like at all. <laughs> I might need to come back to get a chicken, like maybe I forgot the area that they were at. Yeah, I know I, I should bring, bring this back to the pen, but I'm just looking around to see if I need this thing. <laughs> you know, before I plop it in the pen and then I'll... You know, have to come back and get, get it later and waste more time. I bet you it's up that hill or something like that. Because that's the last place that I haven't checked. So I, I think I, I have one more to go... Yeah, last one, okay. So, come on, more. This is taking longer than expected. <laughs> I just remember those uh, odd placed ones because I was like, oh, who's gonna think of those spots? But it was more the thing of, I didn't check those spots. <laughs> that was, whoa, that was mainly the, mainly the problem. I would like to roll into the crate. That's not the case. That's not in there at all, okay. Um, I hear chickens clucking, but I think that, wait, was that? Did I just, just see one up? Oh, there it is! <laughs> I, I was gonna start breaking crates and stuff like I mean, excuse me, breaking pots and grabby. Grab. There we go. This is the last one, and you get quite the reward for doing this. This is definitely worth all this trouble. Trust me on this. You will get something that will greatly come in handy. And. You're welcome, lady. Now keep them in their dang pen. What? 
You have allergies to your own chickens! And you get goosebumps. <laughs> that would, I think you're more ticklish to chickens than you have allergies or something like that. And fine glass, that means it's a bottle! This is two or four bottles, that means I can carry even more stuff. Yes! <laughs> now our next destination is over here at the graveyard. So let's go over there right away. It's gonna be a spooky place. But don't worry, there's going to be a kid that'll protect us. Ooh. Okay, over here in the grass, you're going to want to get something. Cut, cut the grass here, and there's, there's some bugs that you can get in here somewhere. Bugs usually appear in this area, so that's why I'm looking here first. Unless it's under this rock. Oh, wait, 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 I should get a different bottle out here first. And not the one that has a fairy in it. I don't want to accidentally use the fairy. Okay, let's grab this. There we go. Grab one of these bugs. We're going to need the, one of these for later. So just pick it up now. Trust me on this. This is what I was talking about. That to get uh, gold skulltulas inside those dirt patches. Those soft soil patches that you plant beans in. Uh, I'll be back to do a couple of those a little bit later. Um, this place is where Dompe the Gravekeeper lives. He's sleeping and... Yeah. <laughs> uh, ghost in the daytime? That sounds like something that I would love to do. What do you have to say about this kid? Little kids can't go on the heart pony grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just an imitating zombie the gravekeeper all day. With my cute face, I'm not heart pony at all. Am I? No, I guess not. But yeah, that's basically how Dam Dampe walks there. Now, if you try to grab one of these graves during the daytime, um, I would just like to grab this and pull it back. He'll be like, don't cause trouble, I'll tell Dampe. Because evidently Dampe is the gravekeeper and he is like, oh no, I will not. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to you actually. <laughs> I will not let that happen. Even though when we come back at night, then here um, he will actually let us move the graves <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense whatsoever but in the meantime what we actually want to do here is go over to this grave right here and talk to the grave for the heck of it royal family's tomb is that so let's check this the crest of the royal family of hyrule is inscribed here that means a oh, wrong song dang it God, it's awkward to do with a C stick. <laughs> la, 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 la. That was the best singing ever. Whoa. What have I done? Oh, crap. Yeah, the whole grave blows up, and there's a hole that you can go inside. <laughs> I always found that pretty funny, because it's like a, a lightning bolt gets called down from the heavens from your song, and blows up the royal family's grave. Now, when you go into this room, be very careful. As a matter of fact, take look, let them start flying. There's a bunch of keys in this room here. And, wait, wait, can I just like... I'd be very happy if I could kill these keys off with my slingshot first. That would make my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> That's three. I know there's four in here. Wait, there's a... Navi's flashing green. When Navi turns green, that means that you have to use a certain song at a certain place. Uh, it might be the song that I'll be getting in this area. But I'm pretty sure there's one more keys. Did the keys fly... Oh, it's up here. Okay. Let's see if I can shoot out of the air. Oh! Oh yeah! Mad skills! Oop. And let's just continue on. Yeah. Some weird Hyrule text going on there. And a door that you can open that doesn't have a doorknob somehow just by looking at it. Uh, okay, there's some weird enemies here. These are called Redads. I'm gonna try and get close enough to scan them for the heck of it just to show you. Can I? Ah, screw it. Let's not do that. <laughs> um, when you get too close to them, they'll... Well, I'll show you once. 
they they emit a scream that stuns you for a second. They're really slow enemies. Yeah. That's what they do, and they stun you and they can approach you just like that. And can I there we go. Its gaze will paralyze you if it bites you. Tap any button to escape. Yeah, when, if it grabs onto you, and I mean grabs onto you. You know what? I'll show you this once. Zombie hopping! No! Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of silly in a way. Uh, but your best bet is just to avoid these guys for now because they take forever. Even run through, I mean, running through that green goop won't do as much damage as those redeads do. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Now over here... Check this. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. I can't read this. Somehow he can. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Indeed it is. And what is this? A musical score? Yes, it is. The secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Oh, I can't do that that fast with the C stick. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the Sun Song! What this song does is that it stuns Redeads so that you can kill them, and most po importantly, it turns day to night and night to day without you having to wait outside. Yeah! So this is definitely very, very handy if you want 100% this game, because this will save you a lot of time in waiting. Now watch. See that? It stunned the reed deads there. So why the heck did I go for that green goop anyway? I don't know. See, now they're safe and you can attack them all that you want to. Ah! No! <laughs> I hate those things. They are an extremely creepy enemy, I have to say. Okay, is there any more keys in this room? Let me try playing the sun song where this where green navi is. Ah! I'll never be able to do that smoothly with the C-Stick. And this makes a big fairy appear, which recovers your health. Woohoo! Yeah, you can do that in certain spots that uh, you see green navy pop up like that. Anyway, let's leave this area. And actually, this part is going on for quite a while. I didn't really do too many important things other than get a bottle and the song. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part. And I'll see you in the next part when I hope I'll be doing a lot more progress of sorts. <laughs>